Lifter's bodyguard. Killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefters, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. shadows to kill his bodyguards and to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. meaning of this blood soaking our soil and your weapon coated in the same kunan please more has happened here than you can see give me a right to parley my innocence i should have heeded tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests and now he has paid with his life with tevder gone glowichester will be without an elderman eye for an eye your raven clan will lose their chieftain get the murderer <laughs> Dead of night, 
you lie unaware. A terrible sight comes up from her lair. A wicked sprite has come to scare. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you did cause a fright. Take a sweet reward. Show me. There's Motan up ahead. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body. We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Cut a gun fire! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
You killed him! Die! Show me what lies ahead. Guide me. Must be the home of the druid. Hmm? The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fey? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Ah, a 
how Wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. One more. One more! They roar! Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last one. Back to the druid. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. This dagger is placed upside down. Hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. They've been screaming secrets. Speak to me, O oh wind. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic nut warts of harm. A secure nut indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. 
This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kud Lodrin? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. 